can solve this problem? 2,000 years ago, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, visited Jericho. Jesus Christ visited this earth. No one invited him, but he voluntarily visited this earth. As Jesus was visiting the Jericho, no one invited him to come to Jericho. But he came, he visited by himself voluntarily. So much so, Jesus Christ has come to the earth 2,000 years ago. Not to spend vacation, but he came here to be identified with the suffering humanity. When I was 17 years old, I was struck down with a terminal tuberculosis right after the Korean War. My parents took me to hospital and the doctors checked over me and they found out that I had big cavity on the right middle of the, my right lung and my left is full of tuberculosis. And doctors, they shook their head and said, we can't operate on you. Your tuberculosis progressed too much. And they said, with our medical science, we cannot help you. The doctor said, I'm sorry. He said, you go home, eat food which you would like to eat and you meet your friends whom you would like to meet because you don't have too long time on this earth. He says, we tell you that you have three months and at most six months to live. When I heard that ultimatum, whole world seemed to be roaring around me and I was hazed. And in that condition, I come back home. I took the three-month calendar and I put on the wall. Then I laid myself down on the whole Korean floor. And there I was waiting to die. And I was born and raised up as a Buddhist. I had been very faithful Buddhist. My father was a Buddhist philosopher. And so we were kneeling down every day and we were chanting, 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 chanting till I felt spooky. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I was struck down with tuberculosis and uh, I was desperate. I say, oh Buddha, I'm your faithful disciple. Come and help me. I'm dying. I'm choked. I can hardly breathe. I'm constantly vomiting the blood. Come and help me. I was full of fear. I said, I had been a faithful Buddhist. And why should I have this kind of fear, fear of death? I was praying, crying, traveling before the Buddha. But no answer came. Finally, I was desperate. I said, Buddha, are you on your vacation? Are you out of your business? How come that you don't hear me? Yes, I was in Jericho. My whole life was in Jericho. I was in curse of sickness and disease and poverty. We were so poverty stricken that my parents could not take me to the hospital. It was after the war. We were living from hand to mouth. It's very difficult to keep existence. So out of desperation, one day I said, Lord God, if there were God in the universe, would you please come and help me? I don't like to die. I'm too young to die. I'm 17 years old. If ever there were living God, if ever you would come down and touch me and give me life, then I will give rest of my life to you, and I'll go around the world telling about your marvelous work. Because of that prayer, this evening, I'm standing before you. that prayer in a few days one high school girl visits my home she was on her way from school to her home but she was carrying out home visitation since my small shack was the, the, the open and she walked in and after seeing the pitiful plight she began to tell me about Jesus I said no I'm Buddhist I'm not ready to change my religion on the deathbed 
please move out. But she said, no, no, no. I'm not preaching religion, she said. I'm preaching the Son of God. This is not religion. Son of God came 2,000 years ago to this earth to help such a person like you. I said, no, 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 you get out of this place. So she all explained about Jesus and plan of salvation. She left. The next day, about the same time, she visited again with sun rising smile. She said, oh, how are you? She said, Jesus Christ is touching you. Accept Jesus. And she was talking about Jesus. She said, oh, no, 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 you get out. <laughs> On the third day, she came back again. On the fourth day, she came back again. On the fifth day, she came again. She kept coming. And I was so irritated in my spirit. And one day I really pulled up. I said, you get out of this place. I said, when I opened my mouth, millions of germs of tuberculosis are coming out. You would be killed. She said, I'm not afraid of dying. She said, Jesus is my protection. But I said, Jesus, no Jesus, get out of this place. And she knelt down and she began to pray for my soul. And I saw the tears were rolling down on her cheeks. Tears, tears, tears. And when I saw those tears, my heart was shattered. <sighs> this Christian have love. Buddhist, no one came and visited me. No one cried for me. But this young girl, she's not my fiance. <laughs> she's not my one of my relatives. Why should she cry for me? That tear spoke more eloquent than any word. And I said, I said, lady, lady, don't cry. I'll become a Christian for you. <laughs> she threw her hand up and she shouted hallelujah. And she gave her Bible to me and please read this scripture. You will find the word of life. And so when I got the Bible, when I opened the Genesis, she looked at me very amiably and snatched the Bible away from my hand and please don't start from Genesis <laughs> because I think that you are too thick to finish Revelation. <laughs> she was right. So then from where should I read? She opened the Bible, New Testament, Matthew. And she said, read from Matthew. So I opened Matthew. Abraham begat Isaac, Isaac begat Jacob, Jacob begat Judah, Judah begat. I said, is this Bible? This is all begetting story. And I'm dying person. This makes me all more depressed. She said, do you complain because fish has bone? Oh, I saw that bone and eat flesh. She said, the Bible has a lot of bones. You just saw that bone and eat the flesh. The simple word saved my life. I said, that is right. That is right. So I began to read the Bible. I was expecting to read some deep theory or logics like Buddhist teaching. But the Bible was different. I was amazed because I was heathen. I was reading the Bible first time in my life. And the Bible was talking about only one person, Jesus Christ. Jesus, who forgave his sins. Jesus, who cast out devil. Jesus, who healed the sick. Jesus, who raised the dead. Jesus, who fed the starved. Jesus, who gave hope to the despaired people. I was so amazed. Can this be true? What kind of person is this? He's performing so much miracles and he's so realistic. Buddhism all logics and the theory. But this person is not logic and theory. He is so practical and pragmatical. I said, this is not religion. If this person were living today, there would be hope. Doctor gave up about me. Family gave up. Friends gave up. I myself gave up myself. But this person, he performs a miracle. I need a, this kind of person. I don't need religion. I need uh, modern science. I need this kind of person. I was so moved. 
And especially when I saw him hung up on the tree, for me, shedding his blood, I was broken down. I knelt down before Jesus. And I didn't know how to pray because I had never been to church. And that day, Jesus visited me. I said, Jesus, if you were truly a son of God, come and touch me. I'll give the rest of my life to you. Suddenly, tremendous feeling came, hit the pit of my stomach. And I wondered if I were going to vomit more blood because my bowel started to move. But this time, it wasn't blood. Some warm sensation took hold of my stomach, and that began to spread over my chest. That came upon my brain, and I was absolutely calmed down. Great peace. When we were meditating together with my father, from time to time, I felt the peace by Buddha, but that was very brittle. As soon as I stand up and I have some trouble, then there were no peace. But this time, it was not man-made peace. This was supernatural peace came and took over me. I felt so peaceful. Great joy bubbled up. I jumped up and I wanted to sing, but I didn't know any Christian song. I said, something happened. Wow, something happened. Wonderful, something happened. I was shouting. And later, when I come to America, they were singing my song, something happened, and now I know it touched me and made me whole. Yes, something happened, it touched me. And I was so full of joy, and still I was running in the fever, I was coughing up the blood, I was feeling the pain all over my body, by my mind. I heard a still small voice, you will overcome this sickness. You will not die, you will alive. You will become my servant. You will go end of the world, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I heard that voice, still small voice, coming from inside of my soul. Oh, I was overjoyed. And from that moment, I began to devour my Bible, I tell you, I could not understand the meaning of the Bible. But every scripture was pulsating with the life. And I could not keep on reading more than five verses because I was overjoyed. I need to rest a little while to continue. <laughs> because the Bible, every verse was pulsating with the life of Jesus Christ. Then, by and by, fever left me. And I regained the desire to eat. I devoured everything. I began to gain the strength. And I waited for three months, and still I was alive. And I, went, I waited for six months, and I was becoming stronger. And in one year, I came out of the, my deathbed. Since that time until now, for 43 years, I've been pastoring church.